So why was the rich man rich? Why are any rich people rich? Luke chapter 16 and verse 19. There was a certain rich man, Jesus said, who was feasting daily and clothed in purple. Kind of a Roman senator type, maybe one of the nouveau riche people in Rome who had made money from shipping or something like that. Why was he rich, though? Well, the Bible gives probably about five reasons. Here's one, the blessing of God. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, it's the blessing of God that makes rich, and he adds no sorrow to it. Maybe things just worked out for him because the hand of God was there. That was the case, for instance, with Job at the beginning, with Abraham, with David, with Solomon. Maybe the blessing of God. Here's a second possible reason. Maybe he's rich because he worked hard. Proverbs chapter 6, go to the ant, O sluggard. The ant prefers its food and season. Maybe he worked hard and made a living and got vineyards or orchards and was able to sell them or, or had fish that he could turn into fish oil and ship overseas or fish paste they called garum, which they loved. Maybe he worked hard. Here's a third reason. Maybe he inherited it. Maybe his family had been rich for generations. Now in Israel, they were supposed to redivide the land and start afresh once every Jubilee year, but we're not always sure they did that, but maybe inherited it. Here's a fourth possible reason. Maybe he was crooked. Maybe he bribed his way to the top. Read Amos chapters 4 and 5 especially, and then you get into Amos chapter 6 and you realize that there are people who are crooked because of injustice. They rig the system in such a way that it favors them. Maybe he was crooked. Maybe he had rigged the system, put in bribes, say, to some officials to get some of the public markets or something like that. Here's a fifth possible reason that he was rich. He might have been rich because he was in the right place at the right time. You know, if you were born, for instance, in a place where there's good education, where there's good schools, you have plenty of opportunity. You're born in a dirt village in a remote place in the third or fourth world, man, it's an uphill struggle. Some of us are just born on third base. We're the right situation, the right time, and then sometimes it's used fairly wisely. Interesting thing, Jesus doesn't talk about the source of his riches being the problem. He's going to talk about the riches, because apparently the riches that made him able to wear good clothing and eat good food, we'd all enjoy that, the riches may have blinded him spiritually, because there's a beggar named Lazarus in his town right outside of his house. The question is, does he see Lazarus and take action? or? Is he too busy with his food and his clothing? Wow, we've got a lot to ponder in this serious parable. Well, this is your daily devotional. I hope you're doing well. I hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me. I hope you'll seek first the kingdom of God. And remember, Jesus said, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it.